But I, I do, I love like learning like about sciences, learning about tech, stuff like that. Um, one of my favorite things to do is to research which animals are gay. Um, you know, giraffes, bi as fuck. You know, something about the neck, we don't know. But there's not that much research done about which bugs are gay, right? And I've looked it up, I've done some of my own, and they said that sometimes like two male bugs will like mistake each other for a female and like accidentally have sex. And it's like, okay, I went to college. Um, <laughs> so I made a slide that's a very comprehensive list of which bugs are gay or not, so let's go. Um, dragonflies, the fact that dragonflies will just like hover in air perfectly still like that, not moving, gay. That requires classical training, you know? Like, they went to drama school. Ladybugs, every ladybug is a lesbian. Honestly. Look, they got this bold lipstick right here, but if you zoom in, there's Birkenstocks on every, on every one of these. Uh, beetles, lesbians, that's a strap. Um, bees? The fact that you're so willing to hurt someone that you would die for it, that's gay. <laughs> like, the pettiness that that takes. Very gay, and they worship a queen, like, come on, you know? Wasp, wasp are straight. <laughs> it's a visual feeling, I don't need to explain it, we all get it. And look at that interior design, you know, like. It's just not up to par. Butterflies, gay. I mean, come on. You know, they go in the cocoon, college, they pop out, they start thotting, you know. It, it, classic queer narrative. Um, cicadas, the fact that they just like take off their clothes and leave it anywhere, that's straight, you know. It's like, pick up after yourself, cicadas. Gay! <laughs> Every Frank Mantis is gay as fuck, look. <laughs> like, yes. Let's get these amens. <laughs> Scorpions, are they insects? Are they spiders? Neither, they're bi. Um, <laughs> cockroaches are gay because they're everywhere and you'll never get rid of them. Um, <laughs> ants, with ants it's like, you're working so hard, what are you hiding? I just think ants need to do some soul searching. <laughs> and Zeddy Longlegs gay. <laughs> and that is a complete list of all the bugs that are gay. I know, because I fucked them all. Uh, you guys hear about this uh, Dose and Gabbana thing in China? A couple days ago, Dose and Gabbana uh, released like a racist uh, ad making fun of Chinese people and chopsticks. And so the entire country of China is now boycotting <laughs> Dolce and Gabbana. That's right. That's how you know you fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> when like half the world is boycotting you. <laughs> By the way, has there been a brand easier to boycott than Dolce and Gabbana? $800 t-shirts? Yeah, I'm boycotting that. <laughs> Turns out I've been boycotting Dolce and Gabbana forever. I'm single which is confusing. No, it's not. Because I have boobs big enough for each of them to have their own boyfriend. If you want big titties, go to church. That's what I did. These G's came from Jesus. You're welcome. Listen. Because I get real confused because I'm like, men love titties, right? And they love a big ass. I have both of those. So I'm like, all right. Two plus two equals married. <laughs> yeah, it's weird to get up in the morning and be beautiful and single and be like, what the fuck is happening? And the shit's hit me real hard because I'm in my 30s. Don't tell my manager. I'm in my 30s. <laughs> and my best friend, she tried to warn me. She's like, listen, when you turn 30, your body's going to freak out. And I was like, lies, bitch, lies. <laughs> and then I turned 30. Then my biological clock went from snooze to European techno. So now, every time I see a child, I just hear, bam, bam, have a baby, bam, it's awesome, bam, it'll love you, wait a minute. 
a thing to do today, okay? Are there any women here in their 20s? All right. Let me talk to y'all for a second, because uh, nobody told me you have to listen to me. I'm a black woman, that's why Oprah's a billionaire, okay? You have to listen to me. <laughs> Oprah's the only reason white women read. Let's talk about that. So, I need to tell you something, because nobody tried to warn me and I didn't want to listen. Nobody told me, so I'm trying to help y'all. I want y'all to know you've never been horny before. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, they didn't tell me, all right? And you know what that silence is? Every woman in her 30s going, tell these bitches the truth. <laughs> Nobody told me. Because I don't want to have sex, I want to mate. That's a completely different part of your brain, okay? You don't think I didn't walk in here and figure out at least five dudes I want to bang before this special's over? You're crazy, hi, sir. I'm not kidding! What up, green shirt? This is not a joke! <laughs> Glasses, what's up? Listen, I am not playing with y'all, okay? Because I wake up every morning and my body goes, give me a baby! And I'm like, hey man, I gotta go to work today. <laughs> give me a baby! I gotta catch a flight, not a fetus. No, I can't. <laughs> give me a baby! Listen, I need a child because I've looked like a mother of three since I was 15 years old, okay? <laughs> And I'm not saying that to be messed up. I've had huge boobs in this body. I look like that somebody should be asking me questions on a regular basis. That's all I'm saying. My Uncle Derek told me to watch Titanic. You want to learn how to woo a woman? You got to watch Titanics. <laughs> Country for you, Titanics? You don't know how to woo a woman, boy. I'm telling you, Titanics, show you. That boy, Leo DiCaprio, boy, that boy ain't got that girl. Boy, that girl was out of his league. He pulled her. And then he died. He died happy. He was smiling when he was drowning. He'd float down and smile. I went back and watched Titanic. Titanic is not that romantic of a movie. It's a good film, but it ain't romantic. Titanic is basically a movie about an old lady who got some dick so good <laughs> that she went back out into the ocean to say goodbye to it. That's pretty much the movie. Go back and watch Titanic. The whole thing is a flashback. It's a 90-year-old lady, and she's on the bow of a ship. The whole movie's a flashback. It's a 90-year-old lady. She's looking out into the water, and then it flashes back to everything that happened on the ship. He drowns. She lives. They come back present day, and she's looking out into the water, and then people are coming up and talking to her. Uh, Ma'am, are you, are you thinking about all your friends you lost out there? Go, oh, no, baby. I'm thinking about that good dick that was out there. <laughs> Some good dick under that water. That's what I'm thinking. Right here, 70 years ago. This is where I got my back beat out. Did you know that? That's right here. Young gentleman, poverty stricken. Put that pipe on me. I couldn't handle it. I was steaming up and I was pressing my hand on that car window. I, that's why I walk like this. Give me the jewelry. <laughs> she threw that jewelry into the water. Titanic ain't no romantic movie. If anything, it's a superhero movie. It's a superhero movie. Leo DiCaprio was a superhero, bruh. They had sex one time in that movie. Once. They had sex one time in Titanic. And she remembered it for the next 70 years. <laughs> you know how good your pipe game got to be? to put it down once, one time, and for 70 years, that's all she can think about. She's 90. Think about how much stuff you probably will forget. But I know by the time I'm 90, I'm not gonna wear my, I'm not gonna know where my car's parked. I'm not gonna know my grandkids' names. I'm gonna have my pills in that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday trap door. But this lady is 90 and she never forgot that one time. His dick beat Alzheimer's. That's a superpower. Gotta respect that. I'm always wet every day in New York, somehow. Summer, it's humid, I'm walking ass wet, armpits wet. Random air conditioners dripping on you. Was that an air conditioner? I don't know, keep going. Wet, wet, wet. Fall, I put a jacket on, then the sun comes out. Neck wet, head wet, backpack wet. 
Winter, you put on all these clothes, right? Then you sit in the subway, heat, neck wet, hamstrings wet, feet wet, change my socks, feet wet, change my socks. Spring, raining, raining, wet, bus, puddles, wet. I'm always wet. <laughs> Living in New York is like being Leonardo DiCaprio in every single one of his movies. Let's go through them. What do you want to start with? Titanic drowns to death. Wet. Great Gatsby dies in the pool at the end. Wet. Shutter Island, it's an island. Wet. The beach? Wet. Give me some. Give me some Leonardo movies. Give me some. Inception, first dream, pouring rain. Wet. Gangs in New York. He's in the whorehouse, sweating the whole time. Wet. Gilbert Grape takes a bath in the second act. Wet. Give me some more. Departed, movie theater scene, wearing a hat, starts raining on him. Wet. Revenant starts in a fucking river. Wet. Great Gatsby, I already said it, it was the second example. What's wrong with this audience? He dies in the pool at the end. Pay attention. Wet. Blood Diamond runs into a river, shooting a machine gun. Wet. Aviator crashes into the ocean. Wet. Basketball Diaries, top of the building, jerking off, starts raining on him. Wet. He's always wet. He is always wet. Tom Cruise always running. They should do a movie together called He's Running, I'm Wet. <laughs>